the U.S. Department of Energy's Hanford site, played a critical role in America's defense program, beginning in the early 1940s with the Manhattan Project. Located in the desert of southeastern Washington state, Hanford was home to nine nuclear reactors and their associated processing facilities. Hanford's mission was to produce plutonium, a man-made radioactive element that was used for atomic weapons during World War II and throughout the Cold War. Today, under the direction of the U.S. Department of Energy, the nation's largest environmental cleanup effort is taking place at Hanford. At the heart of the project is the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility, or ERDF. ERDF is a massive landfill located at the center of the 586 square mile Hanford site. The landfill is managed by Washington Closure Hanford for the U.S. Department of Energy and is regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency. ERDF accepts low-level radioactive, hazardous, and mixed wastes generated during cleanup activities throughout the Hanford site. ERDF began receiving waste in July 1996 with the opening of two waste disposal areas or cells. The facility's first eight cells were constructed two at a time. Each pair is 70 feet deep, 500 feet wide, and 1,000 feet long, large enough to hold 2.8 million tons of material. Activity at Erdif has increased significantly in the past couple of years, as cleanup work has accelerated throughout Hanford due largely to American Recovery and Reinvestment Act spending. The waste operations team at ERDF is disposing of waste in record amounts. More than 1.5 million tons of waste was disposed of in fiscal year 2010, breaking the previous record by about 500,000 tons. In fiscal year 2011, the forecast is for 2.3 million tons to be disposed of at the facility. Most of the waste is delivered to ERDF in 25-ton capacity containers. Two years ago, ERDF received an average of about 200 containers a day. Today, that number has more than doubled. To allow ERDF personnel to safely handle the increased waste volumes, the facility was expanded for the fourth time since beginning operations. In 2011, Washington Closure completed construction of supercells 9 and 10, which increased the facility's capacity by 50%. The project is part of a $100 million upgrade and expansion of the facility funded by the Recovery Act. A supercell is equivalent to an existing pair of cells. Like the facility's first eight cells, supercells are constructed with bottom and side liners consisting of multiple layers of natural and man-made materials that form an impermeable barrier. All cells include a system to collect leachate or liquid as it drains through the waste materials. A supercell is more cost efficient because it features a simplified leachate collection system. The supercell design eliminates 12 inches of drainage gravel and requires fewer pumps, motors, crest pads, valves, and other pieces of equipment. The result was a cost reduction of 1.5 million per supercell. With the addition of the supercells, ERDF has a capacity of 16.4 million tons. The facility contains more than 11 million tons since operations began in 1996, and more than 5 million since Washington Closure assumed management in 2005. To put ERDF's size into perspective, it covers the same area as 52 football fields. Washington Closure also is using Recovery Act funding to construct three maintenance facilities and an operations center at ERDF. The maintenance facilities are for transportation trucks, heavy equipment, and waste containers. The operations center will house ERDF operations management and support personnel, craftsmen, and radiological control technicians. Recovery Act dollars have also been used to buy equipment to support ERDF's disposal efforts, including a new automated scale, 150 new waste containers, 20 shuttle trucks, four bulldozers, two water trucks, and a 50-ton forklift. In all, Washington Closure has 850 waste containers, 
48 shuttle trucks, eight bulldozers, two landfill compactors, three front end loaders, four track hoe excavators, and various other pieces of equipment. Washington Closure also used Recovery Act funding to create more than 110 jobs, 40% of which are related to ERDF. As activity increases at ERDF, Washington Closure is maintaining its strong safety culture. ERDF employees have worked the life of the waste disposal subcontract with only one lost time injury. Truck drivers working on the project have logged more than 16 million miles transporting waste for disposal at the facility with only one at-fault accident. And since Washington Closure assumed management of the facility, ERDF drivers have logged more than 7 million miles without an at-fault accident. Moving forward, Washington Closure continues its dedication to safely and efficiently disposing of waste.